All right, everyone. This is my Pudao. It's kind of like a Nanigata. But um, it's high carbon steel. It's overall 54 inches. And the blade itself is 25 and a half inches. And it has this cool ring with a handle. And it's wrapped in three places. Uh, very cool handle. It's not too heavy. But uh feels nice. As you can see, it's got... Um, looking little protection here. Iron. And it is very thick. That's... Probably a quarter inch or five eighths actually, and it tapers. So this is it's kind of weird right there, but uh, it's not a beautiful blade, as you can say. Uh, but I think this is very good, suitable for heavy duty abuse. <clears throat> And I just added some oil because uh, I wanted to last, you know. Uh, it does not come sharp. That's the bad thing. But this thing only cost me 50 bucks at Cult of Athena. Uh, the thing that kills me from Cult of Athena is their shipping. Uh, I ordered two blades. I'll show you another one, another video. And for the shipping it was $20 each per item so it's too much plus they tax you but anyway here's a sheath nothing fancy but um very nice very nice uh, wanna order a warhammer sometime this month hopefully if I can and maybe a Viking sword or I saw some really cool swords at Amazon which I think uh, are a little bit more expensive not too expensive though but uh, as soon as I pay off my other stuff I'll get one of those so yeah very cool for down if you're looking for this type of weapon um, it was only 50 bucks like I said so you're not breaking the bank cult of Athena all right, people. Take care. You gotta go. I'm gonna get a sharpener so I can sharpen this properly. All right. Bye bye.